Hi there, Cancer, Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from InStarsByChrissy.com. So, um, yeah, I, I think someone mes me messaged me and saying that my audio was um, quite faulty, so I hope you guys can actually hear my reading. So please don't hesitate to comment below if there are any problems with the audio so that I will be able to work it out um, in the near future. Anyways, without any further ado, let's first um, talk about your reading, Cancer. Please do know that this is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Cancer people out there. So just keep that in mind. We're going with a very simple spread to take a look on what are the major themes that might be happening for you in terms of your love life and relationships. It could be something very personal as well. And over here, we have um, a shamanic messages cards to get some form of insights on what we might need to know and understand as we venture through the month um okay so i like starting off reading the middle card of this spread and this is the six of swords now having the six of swords at the middle of this reading makes me feel as if you are transitioning or there could be some form of changes and movement going on in your love life and personal relationships as well i'm not sure if you are actually happy with the change that is happening in your love life because we do have here the ten of swords at the bottom of the reading and the two of swords at the top so it makes me feel that you know maybe you're not really in your heart to the changes that is happening in terms of your love life and relationships i can only assume that there could be some form of situations or events that has occurred in your love life and relationships that you are not very willing or not very open about, but for some reason, things has, have occurred in that direction. So, for example, I would say that this could be a situation wherein um, there has been some form of disagreement with you and your partner, or this could be a situation wherein you are forced to move on from that partnership and you still love them and you're still having some form of longing towards them so there is a form of hesitation here on wh what you should do about uh, the situation that you are in right now so I'm not saying that everyone is going to experience um, the same thing with this but there's definitely some form of changes and movement happening in terms of your love life and relationships and you are working through a situation wherein you know should you should you try to mend things out with that person or should you wait things out what you should do about your love life and relationships there's a lot of confusion a lot of emotions swirling around about um with you during this time as well so that's really the focal energy that we're picking up over here we have the high priestess the two of swords and the chariot card this this basically already tells us you know a very literal manner wherein um there's something that is not within your control with the changes and developments that might be happening in terms of your love life and relationships this could also be a situation wherein um you have some form of answers deep inside of you like you know what is meant to happen in the relationship like you know what is the truth even though you might not be admitting it there's something that you know but you feel that you are not really Mm, so much ready to to the events that are unfolding um this can also be a situation wherein you you know some form of truth but you're not actually doing anything about it you're not actually doing any form of concrete steps to make um to to benefit from the situation so um since this is just a general reading so i can only make assumptions during this time uh i feel that you know there could be really it's either that you're trying to not um make any form of changes even though you know yourself that something has to change with that relationship 
So you are at that point of, you know, a lot of hesitations and you may be very moody because you're confused. Like at one point you want to go forward and another point you want to go backwards. So there's a lot of confusion that we are picking up over here. However, you are going to realize within this month that regardless of whether you are ready or not, there is no perfect timing for everything. And we have here the Ace of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. So um, you might be... I do not see you really going back to a certain situation. You know, this is about you. Um, despite what you are truly feeling, you are not going to do anything um, if ever someone lets you go. Or if ever someone tries to break up with you or anything like that. Uh, there's going to be a sense of moving forward, but a sense of, you know, uh, it's like that inner voice inside of you of wishing that, I wish that you, you're you're not going to leave me just like this, you know. Uh, can you really leave me alone? It's like there, there is a point of, you know, you're trying to test the other person. And at the same time, regardless what answer they can, give you whether it's hurtful or not you are going to manage it the way that you can and i kind of feel that there's a lot of complications going on in this relationship there is more than just what we are seeing in the spread so i would say that this could be a specific reading for a specific person maybe um we have here the four of pentacles the ten of swords and the two of pentacles all at the same time this makes me feel that you know whatever it is that is going on in terms of your love life and relationships you're not really expressing them you know you're not really very open in telling what you truly feel you're also not being honest about it so it makes me feel that you are carrying a life burden, but at the same time, you're not being overly dramatic about it. You're not really crying about it as well, even though that maybe you're in, in your in your mind or in your emotions, you feel like crying. You feel like crying, but you're not crying. So it makes me feel that you're hiding and holding on a lot of things as well. So um, yeah. Uh, at one point, I kind of feel that this is more of a situation wherein you know that things has to change to a point wherein you have to do something that you have never done before. And you need to take a risk. You're willing to to suffer a bit to do something that you are not used to do just so that you can actually fix a relationship, fix a situation. Or do something that can actually turn around a specific situation, you know. Even though there is no promise, there is no guarantee that things are going to turn out in your favor. There is no guarantee that things are going to turn out in the way that you're wanting, in the way that you're wishing things to be. Um, I kind of feel that this is about you becoming more mature and seeing things in a more clear perspective wherein you're trying not your not to let your emotions get the better of you so that you don't fall trapped to any form of uh, patterns in the relationship that might um, uh, create some form of unhealthy habit um, within that. So we have here the past, present, and future, the card of abundance, the female energy. We also have here new beginnings and then uh, teaching along with changes. So like I mentioned earlier, there's definitely going to be some form of changes that is going to come into place. But I kind of feel that, you know, what has if you have been falling trapped to things that are repeating in cycles in your love life and in your relationships, you're now ready and you're now at the point of your life where you want to completely change that. You want to, you know, maybe you're not happy with the current situation that has been going on in terms of your love life and relationships. 
and um you it's like you need to pretend that you don't care you need to pretend and show the other person that you're actually strong that you don't really uh think about them so much uh i'm not very head over heels towards you even though maybe you truly are um, I kind of feel that maybe for some of you, this could be a situation wherein you're trying to do some form of reverse psychology with that other person so that um, maybe they are going to think of going back to you or um, you will be able to draw them back into your life. Um, you're trying to fix something that has been broken. You're trying to... to um, put the scale or the wheel back to a place where in you know something that has to be right has to be done right i would say so uh, this is going to be a period of time wherein you are going to try to manage things and try to control yourself control what you truly feel in exchange for a result that you feel is much better and that th that you feel is the right thing to do whatever that might mean for a lot of you guys so i'm not going to say that things are going to be happy this month because we do know that there is some form of frustration we do know that it's it, it is not exactly something to be excited about that is really for sure and uh, for many of you you are going to be thinking about your memories with that person thinking about the past how things were how things you know there's a lot of what ifs and things that you're desiring and hoping for your own situation uh, but this is all about you wanting to pull through and wanting to do things that can actually save a relationship especially if you feel and you think that things have gone sour or things are very hopeless or you feel that you know sometimes when you feel that the other person is slipping from your hand uh you you just need to do something about it you need to do whatever it takes even though you, you have to do something that you're not used to do even though you have to do something drastic you are going to be much more willing to take the chance um just because you don't want to lose them now whether you are going to lose them or not is going to be another story however we are seeing here that you are not going to change the relationship you are going to change the status quo and you are on the right track whether that person goes back to you in reality or not, I do know and I do believe that if they choose not to go back with you, they are going to miss. Um, they're, they're making a huge mistake. The fact that you're willing to do things um, the right way means that you not just value them and you're also... Um, you're also thinking about what might happen in the in the far future and this is also just about you know it's not about being excessive and unhealthy you know you're you're trying to put things in the right boundaries um not because you're following your logic mind but you do want some form of love some form of relationship that is going to be true and more sincere uh, nothing manipulative and all of that you know it's like i just want us to be true to ourselves and if you truly love me you'll do this for me it has that form of feeling so um this is my reading for you guys cancer cancer people out there sun moon and rising sign i do suggest that you do watch your ascendant sign and sun and moon all at the same time to give a more clear picture on what you can expect through this um, month of may um thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i'll see you guys again next month